Hi, Holly. Hi. Mm -hmm. Robert, I thought you'd like to know that I alerted my WSB man up in Canada. You have anything yet? No, nothing so far, but he will. He's good. What have you heard? I got a call from Bird. He's in a small village up there. Mine times that he may have Peter cornered. Well, between the Mounties, Ramsey, and my man, we ought to have him by tonight. Perhaps mm. then we can find out what he was doing in Port Charles in the first place. You know, I'm sure that he used that treasure as a lure. <laughs> now, Peter's no fool. He was in trouble. He needed help. He knows Felicia's interest in the treasure. He probably just mentioned it to lure her to the railroad car. That's all. Maybe. But the question is, what was he in town for? That is a good question. You know, it occurs to me, when the man who attacked uh, Felicia in the museum, Van, was killed here, we found Peter's uh, Texas phone number in his wallet. You reckon there's a connection here? Any clues in the railroad car? When concrete, yeah. Um, two blood types, Tony's, probably Peter's. He must have lost quite a bit of blood. Nothing else? Well, nothing that could give us any clues as to who wounded him or why. Maybe it was someone after the treasure. Except there is no treasure, remember? Scorpio. Hello, Robert. It's Bird. I get bad news. Peter got away from us again. I thought you'd set up roadblocks. Well, he got through somehow. This guy's incredible. I mean, how's he doing all this on foot? No, 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 no. We got a report that he stole a car. He seems to be heading for Toronto. Peter's got past the Mounties. I think he's driving towards uh, Toronto. All right, listen, keep after him, Bert. I'll contact the Toronto police to be on the lookout. Oh, good. I'll touch base with them when I get there. This guy is a lot smarter than we thought. Well, so is my WSB man up there. Look, I'll contact him right away and tell him to stick with it. Have you seen Felicia? Yes, I have. How's she holding up? Really not too well. She's still pretty upset. She, she blames herself for what happened to Tony. See you. Ruby, um, I, I want to have a little word with Felicia alone. Do you mind? Oh, of course not. Go right ahead. Felicia, I want to have a little word with you alone. What's the matter? Why didn't you tell me about Peter mentioning the treasure? Where do you hear that? Frisco told me. What'd he say? Never mind what he said. You tell me. Did you get Tony into this because of the treasure? I... I well... Oh, no, Felicia, I... I thought you had given all that up. And now look at the trouble it's caused. I'm, I'm tired of people what? judging me on this. Just a minute. Tell me the truth. Yes, it's true. He mentioned the treasure. But he needed help. He was sick. But you, you should have called someone else. Who? I wasn't thinking at the time. I just went. Do you see what your impulsive actions, what this behavior of yours has caused? I don't understand. Oh, Felicia. Look, you promised Frisco and you promised me that you would give up this ridiculous obsession with the treasure. You lied to Frisco and you lied to me. No. Oh, Felicia. You know, Frisco is right. He says that it's your greed that's caused all this. I never thought I would say this to you, dear. But I am ashamed of you. I really am.